Hey everyone, so we have the budget for 2023 and there are some important announcements in this budget. The most important announcement is regarding introduction of new income tax slab. So I uploaded the video yesterday in the evening after the budget but there was some calculation mistake in income tax return so I decided to take down that video and repost this new video. So we'll first look at the key headlines of that budget and then we'll spend time try to understand this new tax slab and whether this new tax slab is beneficial or not. By the way, after the budget, insurance stocks have almost nosedived. So the reason for fall in insurance stocks also lies in this income tax slab. So we'll try to cover it as well. All right, let's get started. In this budget, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has focused on seven key themes. First theme is inclusive development with focus on agriculture sector, building digital public infrastructure and new health program. Then second theme is reaching the last mile. Third theme is infrastructure and investment where government has set up capital expenditure of 10 lakh crore rupees. Last year this budget was 7.5 lakh crore. So there is significant jump in capex by 33%. Then Indian Railway has received a huge budget of 2.4 lakh crore rupees. Then fourth theme is unleashing the potential via measures like setup of three specialized artificial intelligence centers, introduction of national data governance policy and so on. And then fifth theme is green growth that focuses on sustainable development. Sixth theme focuses on youth power with launch of Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana 4.0 which is a skill development initiative that would cover courses like artificial intelligence, coding, robotics, etc. Then government would identify 50 tourism destination to be developed for domestic and foreign tourism. And then seventh theme is focused on financial sector that includes setting up of central data processing center credit guarantee scheme for MSME, benefit to senior citizen by increasing maximum deposit limit senior citizen saving scheme from 15 lakh to 30 lakh and so on. So this year again the budget is completely focused on capex on infrastructure that would boost every sector of our economy and eventually reward investors in the long term. Now let us look at the new income tax slab and find out if it is beneficial for Indian taxpayer or not. Okay, to be really honest, when I heard about this new tech slab in the morning, I really got excited and opened my Google sheet to calculate the benefit. And my calculation showed income tax benefit up to rupees 1 lakh. For a moment, I felt it can't be right. Up to 1 lakh rupees benefit is too much to expect. So then I dig further and eventually I got the answer. I'm sure a lot of people would be confused about this new tech slab. So let me help you clarify the confusion. Before we even discuss this new income tax slab of 2023, it is very important to understand the old tax slab. So if you look at old income tax slab, your income till 2.5 lakh is completely exempted from tax. Then income between 2.5 lakh till 5 lakh attracts 5% tax. So if your taxable income is 5 lakh rupee, you would have to pay a tax of 12,500 rupee. Although you could claim that entire amount as rebate under section 87A. However, if your income would exceed 5 lakh rupee, you will have to pay that 5% tax. Then income between 5 lakh till 10 lakh has 20% tax and income greater than 10 lakh attracts 30% tax. Now in budget 2020, government launched a new tax regime where income till 2.5 lakh is exempted. Then income between 2.5 till 5 lakh has 5% tax. Income between 5 lakh till 7.5 lakh has 10% tax. Income between 7.5 lakh till 10 lakh has 15% tax. Then income between 10 lakh to 12 lakh has 20% tax. Income between 12 lakh to 15 lakh has 25% tax and income above 15 lakh has 30% tax. Clearly on the first look, the new income tax slab looked attractive, isn't it? However, there was one big catch. Under the old tax regime, you could show all the deductions including 1.5 lakh deduction under section 80C, 50,000 in NPS under section 80D, 50,000 in NPS under section 80CCD, then your HRA claim, LTA claim, interest payment of home loan up to 2 lakh and many more benefit. However, in this new tax regime, government removed up to 70 deductions including the most popular deduction of 1.5 lakh under ADC as well as other claims like your HRA, LTA, etc. Now, it was optional for taxpayers to opt for either new or old tax regime. But after the deductions, the old tax slab was more beneficial than the new tax slab. Hence, the new tax slab did not get much popularity. The reason behind launch of new tax regime was to make it simple because in old tax slab there are a lot of complication and people even find ways 
to avoid tax payment. So government wanted a simple tax structure by avoiding 70 exemptions. Now since the new tax regime was not beneficial for taxpayers, it did not get a good response. Hence in 2023, finance minister has introduced a new tax regime. If you look at the tax lab, there is no tax up to rupees 3 lakh. So tax exemption has now increased from 2.5 lakh to 3 lakh. Then income between 3 to 6 lakh has 5% tax. Income between 6 to 9 lakh has 10% tax. Income between 9 to 12 lakh has 15% tax. Between 12 to 15 lakh has 20% tax. And above 15 lakh attracts 30% tax. On top of this, there will be complete tax exemption up to income of 7 lakh rupee. Now this new tax slab is basically the updated tax slab from previously launched new tax regime. So initially I thought that this updated new tax slab is replacement of old tax slab. But it is actually the updation in the tax slab introduced in 2020 budget. It means this new tax slab would not have those 70 deduction including your 1.5 lakh under ETC, reduction of interest on home loan, HRA claim, LTA and so on. So at first look it seems there is no tax on income up to 7 lakh rupee in new tax slab. But in old tax slab if you had income of 7 lakh then you could show investment in section 80C up to 1.5 lakh and other options like 50,000 in NPS to reduce your taxable income below 5 lakh and that would also be tax free. So that way there is not much impact. But again the question is is this updated new tax slab better than old tax slab? Now I did some calculation and found that this updated tax regime is much better than old tax lab. Let me show you some of the calculation. Now let us take few examples to understand the difference in income tax from your old tax regime and your new tax regime. So in first case let's assume that your taxable income is up to 7 lakh. In that case with new tax regime you don't have to pay any tax. However in old tax regime you have to pay tax. But if you could invest that money in let's say options under section 80c where you can reduce your taxable income up to 1.5 lakh and you can reduce your taxable income further and fall below 5 lakh rupee then in this case also you don't have to pay any tax. But please note that there is a standard deduction of rupees 50,000 which is applicable on both old as well as new tax lab. So if your taxable income is up to 7 lakh there is no tax in new tax regime and if you can show some claim and reduce your taxable income in old tax regime to below 5 lakh then you don't have to pay any tax. Next let's take a case where your total income is 12 lakh. Now in old tax regime since you are able to claim reduction let's assume that you are able to claim a deduction of 2 lakh rupee. So in that case your taxable income will become 10 lakh. Now if you calculate income tax there is no tax on uh, income till 2.5 lakh then between 2.5 to 5 lakh there is 5% tax so 5% of 2.5 lakh then between 5 to 10 lakh there is 20% tax. So that would be 20% on 5 lakh. And if you add it, your total tax would be 1,12,500. Next, if you take new tax regime, if your total income is 12 lakh, there is no deduction. So that will be your taxable income. If you calculate income tax on 0 to 3 lakh, there is no tax. On 3 to 6 lakh, there is 5%. So 5% of 3 lakh. Then 6 to 9 lakh, 10%. So 10% on 3 lakh. Then 9 to 12 again 15%, so 15% on 3 lakh. Then since uh, your taxable income is uh, here 12 lakh, so you don't have to pay any tax beyond that. Now if you add it, you will end up paying a total tax of 90,000. If you do a comparison in old tax regime, in spite of showing deduction of 2 lakh rupee, you ended up paying a tax of 1.12 lakh. And here you ended up paying 90,000. So here clearly your new tax regime is much better. However, if you are able to increase your deduction, let's say by from 2.2 lakh, you could increase it to 2.5 lakh. In that case, you will uh, end up paying lower tax here. So that would become 1 lakh 2000. Still, your new tax regime is better. Now, let's take another case where your taxable income is 15 lakh. So again here, let's assume that you are able to show deduction up to 2 lakh. In that case, your taxable income will become 13 lakh. And if you do the calculation, you will end up with a total tax of 2,2500. And in the second case with new tax regime, if your total income is 15 lakh, that would be your taxable income because there is no deduction allowed in new tax regime. And if you do the calculation, you will end up with a income tax of 1.5 lakh. So here, there is a straight away saving of 52,500 rupee. Likewise, if you take another case, let's say your taxable income is 20 lakh and you are able to show deduction of 2 lakh, 
then your taxable income will become 18 lakh and if you do the calculation your taxable income will become 3 lakh 52,500 and in new tax regime you will end up paying a tax of 3 lakh again you are able to save here 52,500 rupee like I said there would be a difference that would depend upon case to case if you are able to show more deduction let's say instead of 2 lakh if you are able to show deduction of 3 lakh then you are in old tax regime your total tax would reduce but it would still be higher than your new tax regime so in all the permutation combination if you do your new tax regime would end up saving you tax so if i summarize the tax lab introduced in 2023 without any deduction is much better than the old tax lab with deductions and going forward this newly updated tax lab would be the default tax lab i hope this analysis will help you clarify all the doubts now you don't have to worry about where to invest your money to save tax no lss no nps nothing in fact this is the reason why insurance companies share price tank so there are two reasons First reason is insurance companies uses tax saving up to 1.5 lakh under section 80c as one of their key selling point. A lot of people invest in insurance product to save taxes. Now that in new tax lab you can't show income tax deduction, clearly the insurance products will lose its advantage. Second finance minister is proposed to remove tax free status on returns from insurance product with premium more than 5 lakh rupee. Now this was again one of the key selling point from insurance companies. After this, the traditional endowment and money back plans would lose their importance. Although very few people pay a premium of more than 5 lakh on insurance, but this clearly created negative environment and resulted in fall in insurance company share price. So this is it for this video. Overall, the budget is completely focused on infrastructure, which is going to benefit all the sectors of the economy. An introduction of this new tax lab is the highlight of this budget that will simplify income tax payment and income tax would also reduce from next year that would directly benefit every individual. Now tell me what is your view on this budget and let me know if you want me to discuss any specific topic in my coming videos. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.